All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B Bullet RC coming to you guys again with yet another video. And today, y'all already know what time it is, man. It is Friday, which means there are releases on top of releases on top of releases dropping throughout the week and throughout this weekend. So y'all know what that means. It is time for yet another heat or hype where we go through all the releases dropping rumors anything i want to talk about i talk about it on fridays on this channel now remember if i don't talk about something either i forgot about it didn't edit it in or it was just that shitty it was just that trash that i didn't even want to talk about i didn't want to put it on to y'all guys i don't even need y'all to see it so i left it off the video now if i forget about something that you want to talk about don't be afraid to scream at me down below in the comments hey you missed this release what do you think about this release and just air it out bro the adidas try to hand you that l but you already know we don't take l so it's only delayed w's on this channel on this side of youtube right here hey just let me know down below scream at me and the first thing i want to say before we even get into the shoes is sampleind.com we're about to drop a 60 percent off site-wide spring cleaning sale and the link will be on the lookbook for this jacket i'm wearing right now the anniversary sample motorsports jacket so i'm just letting y'all know 60 percent off blessings i mean we got shorts we got hats we got tees, we got jackets, we got bombers, we got hoodies, we got suede, we got Tulsa, we got nylon. Where the fuck you need, we got it. So I'm gonna leave a link down below to that. And when the code goes live, we'll be posting up on at S-M-P-L-I-N-D. As always, just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that if you are watching. So now it is time, let's get into the releases. And first up, y'all know we usually start off with some Jordan brand news. We got the I'm Back Air Jordan 10. You buying these? This, this you? This, this, this is the shoe you wanted? Cause for me, I'm super sleep, super sleep on the I'm Bag Jordan 10. Now y'all know I usually try to level with y'all and be like, you know, I I can get how you would like these and. It is a simple colorway with the white and the black. And there is some storytelling elements there of Jordan coming back to the league, but I feel like you could have made a way better pair of Air Jordan 10s than these. They're white and black and say I am back on the pool tab. This 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 was this was this is the shoe. This is the shoe that commemorates Jordan coming back into the league. And this is the shoe you thought. This is the shoe you want to drop. This is the fire shoe to say when Jordan came back. This is what represents it. A plain ass white and black Air Jordan 10. These shits, they're very quiet. It's very quiet this weekend for this release, especially with some of the other stuff dropping. So I'm sorry I'm back Air Jordan 10, but you just, you're not making the cut. You're, you're just not making the cut. On to the next one. We have another release from the LeBron watch series of sneakers, random draw releases. Now, of course, this one pulls inspiration from the OG Nike box orange and then of course you have the gray stripes on the bottom which I should have my Air Max ones around here somewhere let me let me grab those real quick hold on and of course as you guys can see they look just like this box right here orange on the top Nike Air and the gray different color contrasting color lines on the bottom of the box now of course this isn't a LeBron it's just a pair of the uh, Air Max ones right here that I still got so yeah Air Max one OG joints right here and the LeBron to commemorate the box. I mean the LeBron watch series They got some they got some good shoes y'all know I like the LeBron 15 So there's definitely some good shoes coming down the line and I do like this orange pair very loud But I like them not bad. I like these up next. We got a returning OG Nike Air Max model once again we had the Ultramarine 180s a release or drop last week, I think. And now we have this bright ceramic colorway dropping. An o another OG colorway of the 180s dropping, which is white, purple, and orange. Yeah, I had to, had to make sure I cross-check that one. And a couple years ago, when I was younger, I wasn't really into the 180. But now that I'm seeing it, I'm liking it more and more. But I also remember that when they dropped a couple years ago, that they went on deep deep sale like i'm pretty sure the 180s and stuff like that definitely hit the outlet so i'm not sure how they're handling it this time i went to get my size at my local foot action they didn't have my size they only had size 11 and a half but a lot of the foot sites 
online have them stocked up so i think i'm gonna play the waiting game and see if i can get these on sale so if the frugal boy does come up for that for sale deducted price of course i'll show you guys and let y'all know so this air max 180 og bright ceramic these are hard and the ultramarines are hard and the dusty cactus 93s are hard but you already knew that this next release is, is real is real meh man this new Flying It Trainer Plus in what they're calling a kind of Spider-Man colorway. Obviously, I see now that even when you ask for a shoe, and y'all know I like the Flying Trainer Plus. Plus, what is a Plus? The Flying It Trainer Plus, I like that shoe, but once Nike brings a shoe back, they're gonna bring it back in some really unnecessary colorways. And <laughs> honestly, it's like you only want two. You want the white and black, and then the black and white, or the black and gray, OG pairs and then other than that you're just kind of like eh I, I got the black and white and the white and black joints I, I'm good I got the OG colorways 150 is not coming out of my pocket for these I mean if you like them you know do you but I'd much rather spend the money on the black and grays which are probably barely going over retail right now which some people like to call the yay nits that I fucking hate that name I hate the yay knit name it's the fly knit trainer plus yay put them on yes he gave him some shine flying the trainer plus not the yay nits. If you say yay nits to me, I'm gonna act like I have no idea what you're fucking talking about. <laughs> we got two more Air Max 270 releases. I feel like they've dropped, maybe they didn't drop 10 yet, but in the last month, there's probably been at least seven to eight <laughs> Air Max 270 drops, maybe over 10 for sure. But they got the tan and hot punch colorway and then a triple black colorway. And we've seen these both before. And y'all already know my opinion on the Air Max 270. I definitely like the shoe and it's growing on me more and more as more release. Once again, the frugal boy inside me is just waiting for the menthol pair. And then, and then, I will cop those joints. I probably, I might get the Ultramarines, but I probably won't because I'm gonna grab the 180 Ultramarines. I feel like if I had the 180, there's no need to have the 270, unless I see a 270 in there that hard in person, but we'll just have to see. So two new Air Max 270 colorways, tan, hot punch, triple black. Y'all know how that goes. I fuck with the 270, but I'll be passing on both of these colorways. Up next, we got the Yeezy Power Phase dropping in that core black colorway. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, it's at BulletRC everywhere. If you're not following me, go ahead and follow me up. But y'all already know I tweeted about these and said that the Calabasas guys were secured, and here they are. One thing I will say about this sneaker is that the colorway is not triple black. It says core black for a reason, and I was honestly hoping that they would be full on black. And what I figured out with these Calabasas sneakers is that they have weird colors. The blue colorway or the gray colorway was like gray bluish. And this core black one isn't black. It is more of a charcoal color. So let me go ahead and grab these out of here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna switch it over to a different angle so y'all can look at them straight on. And I'll just talk in the background real quick so I can give you guys a better look. Blam, and here they are, close up on the Calabasas joints. Now the one thing I will say I don't really like about this shoe now that I'm seeing it in hand is that the coloration between this panel, the heel panel is like a lighter gray, and then the tongue is also like a lighter gray than the whole other pieces of the shoe. Also in here, it's a lighter gray. I wish they would have kept the same color gray leather on the whole upper on the tongue and kept it one color, kind of monochromatic, because this, to me, it doesn't look bad, but it definitely doesn't look as good as if it would if it was all one color one color all core black this weird color contrast in between the hill tab and the tongue i don't know it's just kind of throwing me off i do like the power phase i like this shoe it's it's a sneaker like i said it's something my grandma would definitely be down with always liking the gold calabasas foil the green and red on the adidas logos i just really wish they would not have done that to the hill tab and the tongue so that's my only gripe other than that they're pretty much regular calabasas guys they got a nice smooth very smooth very plush leather on them but adidas calabasas all black or core black which is a charcoal colorway these will be dropping tomorrow but that was a quick look just in case you're about to spend that 120 on them now i'm gonna keep this one short for anybody that is on my team trying to hunt down a taiwan pair of air force ones a restock or a re-release in the u.s all i know of right now is that this just dropped we do have official pictures 
from Nike of the shoe, but I've only seen them apparently dropping over in Taiwan, which makes sense because it is the Taiwan Air Force One. So if you are waiting on this shoe, like I'm waiting on this shoe, just know we might never see a US release. Right now, it's just seeming very only releasing in Taiwan, which is fine. You know, I'm not really mad about an exclusive release. I know that if I really want the shoe, I'ma just have to put the money up and get it, but I'ma keep waiting and waiting. And if we do see a US release date, I will let you guys know because I know just like I am looking, a lot of people have been telling me, yo, they're fire. Do you have any info on them? I don't have any more info than what I'm telling y'all, but um, hey, Nike, if somebody's watching, Taiwan Forces, 11 and a half or 12. Appreciate you. We got a couple Air Force Ones on the list, not only the Taiwan, but we have pictures of this brand new Easter Air Force One. And one thing I want to say about the shoe is that it is definitely colorful. It's kind of kind of a wacky colorway with the Easter colors. But as far as the materials go, the quality on this one, the quality of materials on this release looks crazy, bro. Like I'm looking at them down here. Y'all looking at them up here, but um man, it's like a canvas, suede patent leathers of course this is playing off of the all patent leather pair that re-released recently i don't know if that was like a really wide release but this easter pair they're pretty fire and it's 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 a weird very pastel colored out air force one with a lot of different color panels so it is a little bit out there it might not be for everybody i do fuck with it but i don't know how much i would actually wear this shoe past Easter. This might be a good force to buy and keep it in the vault and see if it'll go for anything down the road because I mean, if, if I'm looking at, from anything I'm looking at on this screen right here and that y'all looking at, materials look crazy. It's just a good Air Force One drop and uh, I guess we'll just have to see what comes around once we hit Easter in April, so we'll see. So we got two retros coming out of the Air Max 95 and the Air Max One, the Safari joints. Now y'all already know, I want this Air Max One Safari pair and I really would have liked to get a new pair of 95s but right now, I only have secured one of the shoes and of course, pickup video is coming tomorrow. But for right now, I do have the old pair and I've had these bro, I've had these for a little while, probably a couple years and this was a steal, I copped it off of my homie for 70 bucks. And the only problem with this shoe is that it is a size 11. Y'all know me, I usually wear a size 12. So I've taken the insoles out, I've done all I can, but they still are pretty tight. But these are the Air Max 95 and the Safari print. Now, I really wish in the re-release they would have kept the uppers without all that black. But I mean, usually when they re-retro a shoe, they do change it up a little bit. Um, you guys will notice like that top pony hair or the hair that's on the top is black instead of like this maybe it was white when it first saw but now it's like a peachy white color on the top but anyone that's been watching the channel you guys know i have had these for a while the only pair i'm looking for now is that air max one and uh tomorrow that delay w it's this is a what is this, 2007 that these drops so this is a 11 year 11 year delay w 11 years later the shoe drops again and your boy got it. So the Safari pack, you already know I need it. I would like to get a new pair of the 95s, but the way the prices are looking right now, heads are being cracked wide open, past the white meat, past the white meat as far as prices go. So we'll just see. I'll try to get them on sneakers. If I do, I do. If I don't, then I just don't. It is what it is. One of the biggest releases this weekend definitely has to be the Holy Pack from Adidas and Pharrell. These new NMDs, of course, centered around the Holy Festival. If I'm saying that wrong, then I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments. But these colorways, these NMDs, the, the Pharrell hue joints, the tennis ones, and you know, those are cool. But obviously everyone wants the trail joints. And I basically break them down to the black pair, the orange pair, and then the pinkish purple pair and honestly i mean i wasn't really up on the festival of course after seeing the shoe it kind of got me to go and look into it and looking to see what this was all about and the shoe from what i'm seeing pretty accurately represents it at least the colors version or the colors part of that festival and um i mean honestly they're just they're pretty fire they're pretty fire i mean the last couple of trail nmds were kind of eh, okay but these colorways and these new ones uh, they're hard. They're hard, bro. But the Holy Pack, definitely a dope pack. Really like these NMDs. 
And um, right now, I don't got no pair. So if you lucked up and got that W, hey, did you get it immediately? Did it take you a while? Let me know down below in the comments. And to end off this week's heater hype, we got two brand new off-white and Nike rumors. So that complex kind of exclusive pair of Air Force Ones that I really wanted but wasn't able to get, apparently the official images have now appeared on Nike.com and that could mean that there could possibly be an online restock of this shoe at some point. They redropped a couple pairs down in Miami in the past few months. So I wouldn't say it's far-fetched that they might restock, but right now it's looking pretty slim. I don't know if they're gonna do that. And then the last bit of news we have is that there might be a Carolina Blue Air Jordan 1 off-white collab coming. And honestly, how I feel about the off-white collabs is that I really hope that they don't overdo it because I think they got some good miles and some good silhouettes. And if I can get my retail, I'll probably cop, but I really hope they don't overdo the off-white collab. Maybe doing it on different shoes other than the same shoes over and over again. I mean, they have a they have a pretty strong roster. Air Jordan 1s, um, Air Max 90s, Air Max 97, uh, Air Force 1, and the other shoes that are all depressed. So, I mean, they have very strong silhouettes in the off-white catalog right now where they could just take them and switch up the colors but I definitely think they should try to do off-white collabs on other classic Air Jordan or Nike models. I mean, some people were talking about a, a off-white up-tempo, maybe some of the classic um, fucking Nike basketball shoes, like an off-white phone positive, which I've heard before. So these are just some ideas. Obviously, I'm not Nike. I'm not Virgil. No one probably gives a fuck what I say, but I would like to see some new models with the off-white twist on with the Virgil Virgil, the Virgil sprinkle the season on them. The Virgil seasoning, just season them up a little bit. I want to see what those would look like versus the same models over and over again. But hey, I guess we'll just have to see. But listen, man, that is it. That is a wrap. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course, supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb, by the way, here, there. Buzz about, of course, hold on. The shoes are back there. I got you. Bullet RC, and I will see y'all in that next video. Y'all let me know you're going for anything over the weekend. I told y'all I need the 95s. The ones, the ones should be good. I need the 95s and the Calabasas, guys. These are already secure. So that's it, man. I am out of here. Y'all be easy. Don't forget, 60% off sale on sample. I'm just letting y'all know the code will be in the lookbook for the Motorsports Anniversary Jacket. We've been getting a couple questions. Pictures will be posted soon. So Y'all already know. Y'all already know. It's some logos up here that y'all probably have never seen. Y'all, I mean, you might have seen. Hold on. Let me let me let me get the camera right. You might have seen this logo, this all in logo somewhere. And if you've seen it, then you know that's gonna be releasing soon. And this El Toro Racing, uh, that is an unreleased t-shirt design that you guys may never see. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'm out of here. Camera, you wanna, wanna focus me up? Alright, I'm out. Peace.